Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with the Extra Weather for the next seven days. Here we are heading in towards the last week of February. You know, it's hard to believe that meteorological spring begins next Friday, March 1st. So that's some great news. We are certainly heading out of the dead of winter right now. But starting in our period on Friday, we're going to be seeing temperatures about average for this time of the year. Our highs at this time of the year getting in towards the end of February should be in the low 40s. That's about where we're going to be. As we get in towards the end of next week, look at this, February 29th. We don't really have too many records on file for official February 29th since they only happen once every four years. So we're going with the averages and records of March 1st here. So temperatures again should be in the mid 40s at this time of the year. And of course, as we get closer and closer to the official start of spring, which is on March 19th, our length of day keeps getting longer and longer. It's actually getting bright out there when you're heading out to work early in the morning, and the sun is still up when you're coming home. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us in terms of temperatures and precipitation for the next 7 to 10 days or so. And looking at our temperature map, they're expecting us to have a fairly good chance of above average temperatures. I'm seeing that as well, especially as we get in towards the start of next work week through the end of next work week. Looks like, unfortunately, we're going to have a pretty frigid weekend again, but thereafter that warm wa warm air is going to come back into here. Now, looking at our precipitation chances, looks like we're going to be seeing chances of above average precipitation. Not quite seeing too much of that right now. We're going to have to see if most of that may come along with a very strong cold front that we think is going to be passing through the area early next Thursday morning. That could bring us some heavy showers and maybe even some thunderstorms as we end out February. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at those seven days of weather coming up. And again, starting out our period on Friday, starting out your weekend, we're going to be seeing some steadier, maybe light rain in the morning on Friday thereafter, followed by just some light showers and temperatures cooling actually throughout the day. We're probably going to see that high of 43 early in the morning and thereafter tailing down to the 30s as we go through the rest of the day as the skies clear up. Now, Saturday and Sunday, it is going to be pretty chilly out there, going to be Kind of breezy, especially on Saturday. Temperatures only in the low 30s. Going to have a feel of real midwinter out there. Temperatures will feel like they're in the teens. Very chilly morning getting up on Sunday. Cool weather continues on Sunday again with highs only in the mid 30s. But after that, the threat of some showers comes in for each day next week. But the temperatures start to warm considerably. Time we get into Monday, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. And by the time we get to Wednesday, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some areas around the Burlington area reaching into the low 60s, maybe. And thereafter on Thursday, again, we're going to see that powerful cold front come through. A morning high again, probably in the low 40s, and then cooling us way back down to the 20s, probably by the afternoon on Thursday. But it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any snow in this forecast coming up. Maybe just a little bit of mixed flurries on there this Friday morning. Other than that, for you winter lovers, looks like we're missing out on snow again. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.